CO2 pipelines are, are really new to our community. There aren't, you know, there aren't um, any that are close to Bismarck right now. So it means additional training for emergency services personnel. It's going to be new equipment for emergency services personnel. Um, and of course, if there is some sort of a pipeline break in the county, um, it's going to go much more it's going to exhaust the two or three people that Summit's going to have here in town. It's going to exhaust the county rural fire department resources. And ultimately, I do believe it's the city of Bismarck that's going to be called on to, to help with any of those pipeline breaks. You know, this is something that's, that's providing a benefit to some distant corporation um, that isn't benefiting us. It's not anywhere near the same as, uh, as a natural gas pipeline. And I think that really gets to some of the, the concerning things that I've seen uh, when, when someone is essentially saying that the city of Bismarck shouldn't care about these natural gas, this pipeline because we have natural gas pipelines everywhere. The difference is they're putting it right in the path of growth, where the growth is right now, where we know we're going to grow within the next 20 years.